Welcome, everyone, to Morning Yoga with Ava. I'm Ava, and I'm indoors. Is uh, We have a threat of a big storm that really hasn't materialized yet, but it scared me off the, be off the uh, beach, off the, uh, the park, as I normally uh, demonstrate yoga classes in the park. But I'm indoors. And uh, so as an alternative to our outdoor yoga, where I have a lot more freedom of movement, um, I thought it would be good to confine this uh, sequence to our buttocks, to shape and to sculpt our buttocks, no matter how old we are, because the buttocks tends to fall as we age and so often we have to put a little more uh, attention emphasis into reshaping it and so uh, that's what we're going to do now you know the idea of these classes that I'm uh, giving you is to give you a roster of different 
yoga sessions, yoga sequences, um, emphasizing various uh, parts of the body, emphasizing them, that is, working on them more uh, deliberately, uh, so that you have an, an immense resource at the end of poses and uh, classes and means by which you can address your body's needs as you find them. And for this, um, I thought, you see, I've been a yoga teacher all my life, and I found that when I asked for donations, that in fact, I could survive on that, and it made it so much more of a pleasant affair to exchange our um, resources, my resource and your resource. So I'm asking you for donations because I want to take the efforts that I've uh, um, I suppose I just wanted so much to teach outdoors that I put all my energy in those that area of my professional life but I'd like to put far more emphasis now on the video aspect of my teaching. And uh, for that, um, I'm going to need a little bit of financial help, and that's why I'm asking if you could donate so that I could give you these without having to charge you or to create an entire system in which you uh, come in and there's a fee. So please, if you would be kind enough to donate. So today, I'm going to call this session <laughs> Bottoms Up, because I called my uh, yoga ball sequence uh, Balls Out Yoga. And uh, I like these kind of quirky little names, you know, that uh, tell the story. So please do what you can. We're going to shape and sculpt our buddies. So let's just begin. Here we go. We <coughs> place the mic right here. We put the feet flat down outside of hip width. And we put our hands directly behind us. Oh, somewhat um, relaxed. The shoulders are relaxed. You press your shoulders up towards your ears and you press down into your feet. And you lift your hips up and tighten your buttocks. Already we are concentrating on the buttocks. We tighten the buttocks and then we tilt the hips forward and we press down the tailbone. We press into the hands and we press into the arms. We press the chest forward. We lift the buttocks up a little bit higher and we tighten the buttocks. We sit down and we press the chest forward. We press into the feet. We tighten the buttocks. We press into the arms. Breathing through the nose, we inhale up. Chin down. Pull up. Exhale down. Press the chest forward. Open up the hips. Pull the arms out. Press into the hands. Inhale up. Tighten the buttocks. Pull the abdominal wall in. Press the chin down. Sit down. Press the chest forward. Press down into the feet, pushing into the arms, tighten the buttocks. Draw the abdominal wall in. The abdomen, the thighs, the lower back are all involved in this motion. We inhale up. Tighten the buttocks, pull up. Exhale, draw the abdominal wall in, drop your head back. Sit down, press forward, inhale up. Exhale, press, inhale up. Exhale, press, inhale up. Exhale, inhale. And then we gently, gently bring the feet forward. I would like to turn sideways so you can see this. 
we have the hands on the knees we curl back the spine we open up the vertebra and we lean back we put the chin down we draw the abdominal wall in we pull back we're going to open up the spine before we lay down on our back we pull back open up the spine breathe slow and deep through the nose we lean back draw the abdominal wall in tighten the buttocks we hold and breathe tighten the buttocks we pull forward using our arms to pull the weight of the body forward we then lift up the hips we sit down and this time we pull the arms forward and we roll down one vertebra at a time we put one vertebra down then the other we roll down slowly we press down the arms slowly we pull the arms forward we put the head down gently and we walk the feet in let me make sure you can see we walk the feet in now let me move down just a bit so that I can raise my arms up there we go so we pull the arms up and we shimmy we shimmy we extend the arms we pull the arms out and we rock from one side of the hip to the other we pull and we rock we rock feel your hips extend through the arms we rock from one side of the hip to the other pressing into the feet we rock we pull breathe slow and deep feel the bikes stretch pull through the arm rock we rock over and pull out we rock over and pull out we're already building building strength we're opening up the hips we're stretching we bend the elbows down we lift the hips up and we flatten the hips to the ground to the mat we press the hips flat down. Imagine it to be sort of like a, a round disc, the hips that is, and press that round disc down. Pull down through the arms and press into the arms. Then walk the feet into the buttocks and lift the hips up and down. We lift the hips up and down just a little bit pulling down through the arms we lift up and down we're going to do this several times and we're tightening the buttocks as we lift up and down and sigh several times if you feel any anxiety pull through the arms press the chin down and lift the hips up and down we pull through the arms we press into the arms we lift the hips up and down we lift we strengthen the buttocks, gradually pulling up. Breathe slow and deep. We pulse up. We pulse up. A few more. Do as many as you can. Rest if you need to. Keep pressing down into the arms as you press up the buttocks. We're building strength with sculpting the shape of the buttocks. We press down and lift up. We press down and then we keep the hips up and we bring the arms underneath us. We lay the hands down two fists side by side we lay the weight of the body down onto oh just above the wrists and then we 
bring the knees in. We're opening up the lower back. We're opening up the lower back. The knees come right into the chest. You're bearing your weight on <clears throat> the area right around the uh, inner elbow. We press the shoulders down. We press the knees into it. We are knees into our chest. We press the hips down and we start to roll the lower back. We're starting to roll the lower back, the lower spine. We roll by pulling the knees in and out, rolling over our arms, giving a deep massage to the lower back and to the lower spine. The arms are on either side of the spine, either side of the hip. We rock up and down and we breathe. Don't hold your breath. We're opening up. We're opening up. Sigh several times to release any of your angst or tension. We open up the lower back first. Bring the knees into you, rock into you. Open up. A few more. Feel the lower back, open up. We're opening up, releasing the tension from the hips so that we can then work more diligently, more effectively, more focused on the buttocks. Put the feet down. We tighten the buttocks slightly. We lift slightly up off the arms. We bend the elbows and pull the arms out. We lift the arms up. We stretch out. We pull up and we lift the butt itself. We walk the feet in so that they line up directly in front of the hip sockets. We pull the arms up and we lift the buttocks up. We pull then the arms, we swivel the arms down and we pull forward through the arms. We tighten the buttocks. We pull and we hold tight. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Pull the energy through the arms. Tighten the buttocks. We're on the neck, the shoulders, and we reach the crown of the head out. We pull the crown of the head to the back and elongate the neck and pull the energy through the arms. We tighten the buttocks. We hold and breathe. We tighten. We pull. We lower the hips very slowly as we lift the arms back up. We press the hips flat. That is, that disc, which is the hips, presses flat. We reach up through the arms, releasing the tension from the shoulders. We look behind us. We pull up. Press down the hips and pull the arms up. Let go of the neck. Pull up. We hold and breathe. Thumbs down, pull the hands up. Then lift the knees up, lift your head up and swivel the arms down to shoulder level. Pull the knees in, curve the spine. Press the chin down. Release the lower back. We hold and breathe. Pull forward. Pull through the arms. Keep the knees into you. Put your hands over your toes. Bring the knees up. Bring your head down. Now the toes are on the ground. You walk the toes just a little bit outside of hip width. You hold on to the feet, you're on your toes. You then start to rock the hips. You rock the hips. So if you imagine the hips to be a plate 
then the southern and the northern tips of that plate move up and down. We lift up and down. Keep a steady grip on your feet and the shoulders pulling down and you lift up and down. We're building strength in the lower back. We're strengthening the buttocks and the thighs. We press up and down. We press up and down. And we keep going. Sigh occasionally just to release your stress. Feel your buttocks. Pull up. Do as many of these as you can. Lifting up. Lifting up. And lifting up. We then bring down the heels. We bring the heels in close to us, holding on to the ankles. We lift the feet right off of the ground. We press the hips flat down onto the ground. We slide our hands over our knees and we pull the knees into the chest. We bring the elbows in. We bring the shoulders down. We flatten the back and we press the hips down. We release the stress and tension from the hips and the buttocks. We press, pull the legs into you. Pull them in, keep the back flat, keep the hips flat on the ground. Press your legs into you. Wrap your arms around your legs and press, pressing our body down into the ground. We open up the hips, we open up the back and we press the back of the body flat against the ground. We hold and breathe. Press. Stay tight. Bring your head up. Bring your head up. Press down. Hold and breathe. We bring the head down. We release the tension from the arms. We release the legs, placing our hands over our knees. Let's open up the hip sockets. Then these are all tangential, but are vital to the strengthening of the hips and of the buttocks. So we roll the knees out and we open up the hip sockets. We breathe slow and deep. We roll the knees out and we sigh, we roll, we roll, we press the knees out, this circle that the knees are <clears throat> drawing extends out, we open up the hips, we open up the hips and we keep the back and the hips flat against the ground. We roll. Breathe slow and deep. We're opening up. We bring the knees into the chest. We bring the shoulders down. We put the hands around the ankles. We flex the feet and bring the feet down onto the ground. We walk the feet forward, pulling the shoulders forward. We walk the feet forward until the arms are very taut. And then we feel our hips. Wrap your hands around your ankles. Secure yourself in. Elongate the neck. Pull the shoulders down. We tilt the southern tip of that disc, which is the hips, up. And we tighten the buttocks. We keep the arms taut. We pull back and we 
tighten the buttocks. We pull back and we tighten the buttocks, lifting up just slightly. We tighten, we hold, chin down, lift up just a little more, lift up just a little more, and pull up. Arrange the shoulders, moving from one shoulder to the other, adjusting and pulling up. We hold and breathe. Lift up. Stay tight. Don't hold your breath. Keep the buttocks tight. Press into the feet. Hold on to the ankles. Hold and breathe. We adjust and lift up. We hold and breathe. We press up. We hold and breathe. We gently lower the hips down, releasing the tension in the hip sockets. The shoulders gently pull out from one another. The shoulder blades separate. We bring the weight of the body down very slowly and we press the back flat down. We press the hips flat down. We press the feet flat down. We lift the heels up. We put the hands around the front of the feet and we pull the heels in. We pull the shoulders down, bending the elbows. We look up. We hold and breathe. Pull the shoulders down and point the chin up. Bring the heels in. We hold here and breathe. We pull in. We look up. Sigh. We pull in and look up. Hold and breathe. We're releasing tension. Deep breath. Lay your head down. Put your hands around your ankles, put the heels down. Then walk the feet forward. Then arrange again the hips flat. Release the ankles <coughs> and pull your arms down. We now lift the hips up again. This time we bring our hands underneath us and we lace together the finger, fingers right underneath the body. We walk from one shoulder to the other, bringing the shoulders in. We sway the hips now, resting on our shoulders and on our arms. We rock the hips up and down, as if it were sort of a swing. And you're swinging the hips from one side to the other, using your arms underneath you to help press up. We press up from one side to the other. We swing. A few more. And then we tighten the buttocks. We bring down the body onto the arms. We turn the palms down. They're laid down side by side. Press the hands down. Rest the weight of the buttocks down onto the arms. Near or right around the wrists. We then lift the feet up. We roll the lower back up. We press down into the hands. 
And we hold here and breathe, bringing the knees in again. Releasing the tension from the lower back, from the hips, from the buttocks. We bring the knees in. We hold and breathe. Let's extend the legs out. Press the knees away from you and then again bend the knees. I want to bring in a little flexibility to the knees since they are also engaged in the movements and poses. So we bring a little flexibility to the knees while we have the legs resting on us. So we press the legs back and we bring the toes down to the ground we press the legs back and we bring the toes to the ground we rock feel your hips feel them open up we rock and rock opening up the hips pressing releasing the knees as well we press back and what we're doing is we're walking the hips further down the arms each time we throw the legs back and we pull the hips forward we throw the legs back and pull the hips forward we keep doing this and we can sigh any time to release the emotional angst we press we pull the hips down. We pull the hips down. Extending them down. Pulling the tailbone down. And down. And down. We leave the legs above us. We let the weight of the legs fall into us. We press into the arms. We lace the fingers back together, pressing into the palms. We then rock the body from one side to the other and we bring the elbows underneath us. We then bring down the legs. We bend the knees, we put the toes down, we separate the legs, we put the heels down and we tighten the buttocks. Press into the hands, bring your arms underneath you, move from one shoulder to the other and rock the body up using one side of the body and then the other. We tighten the buttocks on one side and then the other. We rock. Breathe slow and deep. And then rest the weight of the body down on the arms, turning the hands flat onto the palms, onto the fingers. We press the weight of the body down and we bring the legs back in. Now I'd like to create a little bit of opening again in the hips with our weight on our arms. We press the legs out and in. Let me perhaps move so you can see better. That's it. Inhaling in and out. We stretch. We stretch. Feel your hips. You're giving your hips and buttocks a massage. The arms rest underneath it on either side of the spine. And we pull the knees in and press the legs out. We pull in and every time we pull the knees in, we pull the tailbone down and we extend. We pull down and extend. And we do this as many times as we can. Rest if you need. We extend out. We extend out. Feel the hip sockets. Open them up. Breathe slow and deep. Breathe slow and deep. Bring 
in the legs, right to your chest. Roll the lower back up to you. Lift the head. Lift the head. Head to the knees. Involve your whole body. Exhale in, inhale out this time. Exhale, pull in. Exhale. 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 And then leave the legs out. Let them drop. So they are like weights pulling down. Feel your hips. Tighten the buttocks. Tighten the knees. Press the legs out. Tighten the buttocks. Tighten the buttocks. Keep the legs out. Tighten the buttocks. We hold and breathe. And then move your wrists off the ground and bury the wrists into the buttocks, the sides of the buttocks as you rock your body. You're massaging your hips. You're massaging the buttocks. You rock from one side to the other. Placing the arms on the sides of the hips so that they, their shape then goes right into the hips. Right into the hips to massage the hips to massage the buttocks. We walk the arms in and out. Closer into the sides of the spine. Then out again. Right out. We walk the arms in and out as we rock over the arms. Opening up the hips, massaging the buttocks. In and out. Walk your arms in and out. We rock. And then we gently. Open up as far as we can. Tighten the buttocks. Press the knees away from you. Pull your shoulders down. Tighten the buttocks. Press the arms into the ground. Press the legs open as far as you can comfortably. We press the weight of the body down into the back. We open up. We hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Keep the pressure. Keep pressing down into the ground. Keep the legs wide open. Press down. Don't hold your breath. Push the knees away from you. Press down. Feel your hips. Feel the buttocks. Release. Bring the legs straight up. Take the hands out from underneath you, pull through the arms, bend the knees, separate the feet, put the feet right in front of the hip socket, put the heels down, the hands are pulled forward, you walk the feet back so they align with your hands. You press down into the arms, you lift your hips, you splay your toes, you lift the head, <laughs> And you press the head back down. You lift the hips. You lift the head. You pull through the arms. You pull through the <clears throat> vertebra. That is, you pull forward. Tighten the buttocks. Tighten your abdominal wall. Chin. Pull forward. Pull through the arms. Tighten the buttocks. Pull through the arms. Tighten the buttocks. We hold here. Contain the energy. Press into your feet. Let the energy flow right through you. We curve the spine. We pull through the arms. We tighten the buttocks. Chin down. Hold and breathe. We lift the hips. We bring the hands together underneath us. We lay down the weight of the body onto the arms. We separate the hands and we make two fists again. We bring the knees in. 
we curve the spine and this time we walk the legs down. We roll from one side to the other. We're massaging the hips again, but we're opening up also the waist and we're twisting the spine. So we draw the legs from one side to the other with the hands underneath this. Both hands have made this and we then rock, opening up. Sigh if you need, catch your breath, roll. Feel your hips, feel your waist, open up. We're massaging the hips, we're massaging the buttocks. We're opening up. A few more, open up. And then stop. Put your feet down. We then place the hands right underneath the knees. The feet then flatten. You splay your toes. You reach up. You relax your neck. Then you bring your head up and you pull in to the navel. You reach up and you tilt the hips up. You tighten the buttocks, pulling through the arms. The fingers are now right at the knees. You pull up, you tighten, you hold. You pull up, you tighten, you hold. Hold and breathe. We then lift forward, we walk the feet forward, we pull forward, we pull through the arms, we reach the arms straight out, and we pull forward, chin up, shoulders down, pull out. We lift the rib cage up, and we pull out through the arms, we pull out. We walk the feet a little bit closer in, we position the rib cage a little higher and we pull through the arms. Now, feel your hips. Press into the hips. One side of the hip presses into the other side. We press in. We pull through the arms. We walk the feet in. We lift the shoulders and the rib cage up. We pull forward. And we release the tension, pressing into the feet. We press in. We're just releasing tension so that we can continue to build strength and energy. We pull forward. We hold and breathe. We lift the rib cage. We press forward, pressing the belly into the legs, pressing down into the feet. We pull the energy forward. We hold and breathe. We swim the hands back. We bow the head down. We put the hands directly behind us with the fingers open. We lean back. We put the shoulders up and we tilt the head back. We separate the feet so that they are in line with the hip sockets. We bring the chest forward. Let me make sure that you have a full view. There we go. And we prepare. Press the feet down. Bend the elbows. Lift the hips right off the ground. Pull the shoulders up towards your ears and begin to swing the hips. Gently now, we swing. We regulate our breathing, slowing the breathing down. We swing, we lift the toes and balance on the heels as the hips move back. We lift. We lift, we inhale up, exhale back, we inhale up, exhale, we lift, we lift.
few more. Speed up. Speed up. Slow down. We sit down. We walk the feet in. Now to release some of the <laughs> stress from the shoulders, walk the feet in, open up the chest, lean forward at the chest, lean into the legs, turn the palms up behind you. We sigh. Release your tension from the neck, from the shoulders, bow the head down. Pull through the arms. Let go of the wrists. Let go of the fingers. You can even wiggle the fingers if you'd like. We sigh. We sigh. Curve the spine. Bend the elbows. Bring the head down between the knees. Open up the back. We sigh. Face forward. Roll the shoulders up. Roll them to the back and bring the shoulders down. We remain in contact with the legs just like this. And we lean back. And we bring the hips forward. I want to make sure you can see me. And we turn one shoulder towards, so if it's my, <laughs> mirror me or follow the instructions one way or the other. We turn the right shoulder into the right knee. And we turn out, pressing into the arms. We need to open up the hips just a little. We twist. The, this is a system down there of connected parts. So we twist the shoulders and twist the spine all the way down to the base of the spine. We then draw the sides of the hip into the middle. We twist. We sigh. We hold and breathe. We twist. And we look behind us. And then we release very gently. We bring the shoulders forward. We then turn and we twist. The arms are straight. We're pressing into the arms. We're turning at the waist. We're opening up the hips. The knees point straight up. We press, we twist, we twist, hold and breathe, pressing down into the feet, let go of the waist, twist, we release, we come back, we roll the shoulders forward, we roll the shoulders up. And then we bend the knees and fold the legs underneath us. We bend one knee and fold the leg underneath us, placing our weight on that leg. We fold the other leg down, and now we transfer our weight from one side to the other. Let me show you this way, I think. Hold on. We lean into the arm, so now we press the legs into each other. We twist. We look over to the other side and we twist. Press the hips away from you, tighten the buttocks, press into the legs and bring your other arm around you, wrap the free arm around you and twist. Tighten the buttocks, twist. We hold and breathe. We twist. 
Let go of the waist. Twist at the waist. Keep the legs in. We twist. Tighten the buttocks. Feel the buttocks. Twist. We slowly release. Press the legs into each other and then release the tension from the upper arm, the upper shoulder. Turn the palm of that hand that's around you. Release it. Release the fingers. Press into the arm beside you. And now extend the other arm down. Swing the knees into you. Put your weight into both arms and swing the hips out to the other side. Turn your shoulders and twist. We twist. We twist. Bring the knees down. One leg right over the other. We twist. We point the toes in. We adjust at the hip and we tighten. <coughs> Pardon me. We tighten the buttocks and we twist. We twist. Press the legs into each other. Twist. Let go of the waist. Tighten the buttocks. We twist. We twist. Bring the legs in. Lean into the outer arm. Bring that shoulder up into the ear. Pull your feet underneath you. And let me change positions so you can see. So now the legs are folded underneath us. The feet are crossed. You sit down. And uh, here we are. So you might not see me uh, uh, as I disappear off screen, but you'll see what needs to be seen. So. We sit on our feet and we come up. Let me, uh, there we go. We tighten the buttocks and we lean back. The toes are in, the knees are aligned with <coughs> the hips. Well, they're just outside of hips. The width of your hips, just outside of the width of the hips. And now we start to Feel the hips and place the hands right at the thighs. Feel your thighs with your hands and then sit down and press your hips forward. Sit down and press the hips forward. Slide your hands over the buttocks and tighten the buttocks. Feel the buttocks. Bring the elbows back. We hold here. And we breathe. We reach back. We press the hands over the buttocks. And we drop our head back, which you can't see. We press gently with the hands at the lower spine. We uh, sort of Release with little gentle pushes forward. The buttocks tightens, the elbows come back. You tighten the buttocks, you bring the elbows back, you arch back, you lean back, and you hold. You slide your hands across the hips. You slide your hands down the thighs. You press your hips to the back. You slide your hands down to your knees. And then you lay your hands flat 
in front of the knees and you walk your hands forward until they come right underneath the shoulders. You walk your knees back and you lift the knees off the ground to the side. We then <coughs> sculpt the hips, the buttocks, sides. So we pull the knee up from one side to the other. We lift and we breathe slow and deep as the knee lifts up sideways. Pressing into the arms, we lift out sideways. Feel your hips, feel the whole area of the buttocks, the hips, the lower back. We press up. Breathe slow and deep. As many as you can do. We kick up sideways. as many as you can do. Don't hold your breath, keep breathing. A few more. That's good. And just a few more. You bring the knees back. We point the toes down behind the knees. We press the hip back and we bring the elbows down. We press through the tailbone. We press the tailbone to the back. We point the head towards the ground. Forearms on the ground. Press the hips away from you. Adjust. Let me make sure you can see me. We press. Tilt the tailbone up. Bring the head up, push down into the arms. We then press the legs, the arms, away from us. Out. We look up. We press up, releasing the stress, releasing the strain, the tension. We pull out, <clears throat> curving the spine up creates energy. Feel it rushing through your spine. Press out, we hold and breathe. We put the toes to the back, point them to the back, put the feet down. We curve the spine up, pressing down into the arms. We drop the head down and we arch up like a dome. We pull up. We pull up. Drop the head down and just let loose the head and roll it. Roll the head underneath you and keep the dome through the body. Let go of the neck.
reverse that row. Let go of your neck. Roll. Keep the dome through the body. Then press down into the feet. Lift the tailbone up. Sit back. Extend the fingers out. Stretch out. Pull through the arms. Press the hips flat onto the heels. Stretch out. We extend through the arms. We stretch out. We press the hips down. We press the shoulders down. We open the fingers and we press the chin down. We press into the ground. We hold and breathe. Pushing down. We stay extended, but we lift the weight of the body up. We soften the elbows and lift them up as well. We bring the weight of the body gently forward. We keep the feet flat on the ground. We're moving straight ahead through the spine now. The hands align directly in front of the shoulder points. Make sure before you descend, you then pull through the spine pulling the crown of the head forward, bringing the hips with you. You open up the fingers, you press down into the hands, you secure yourself on your arms, and you release the hips. You let them come down. You bring the elbows underneath you. You move your knees behind you and feel them. Relax the knees, bring the elbows underneath you, bend the, the elbows slightly, tighten the buttocks. Tighten the buttocks. Adjust. Now hold and breathe. Keep the chest open. Keep the buttocks tight. And feel the buttocks. We hold here and breathe. Press in. Press in. Curl the toes up. We move the knees just to be more comfortable. We make sure the weight of the body is equal on the arms. We bring the elbows down and then we curve the spine up. We tilt back the head. We tighten the buttocks and we hold the energy. Keep the buttocks tight. Hold and We press in, keep the buttocks tight, feel the buttocks, tight. Look up, press into the arms, reach back the energy through the spine, feel your hips, relax the knees, lift the hips, Lift up slow, press into the arms, push into the ground. Look at the ground, point the tailbone to the back, move the knees, make sure they're in line with the shoulder points. Keep the chin forward, press the hips back slowly, pushing into the arms. We push the hips back, we bend the elbows down, we put the head down, drop the head, Curve the spine up, pressing into the elbows. We lift the spine up. <laughs> What's the matter? Can you believe this? <laughs> Sweetie, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> She 
she's a a yoga cat. <laughs> so we bring the spine up, we arch up like a dome. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't know when I'll have to wait. Here, hold on. Till we get out of here to get the cat out of here. <laughs> we bring the hips down. We point the tailbone up. We press the feet down, heels out, looking up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You press up. We press up. Now press the hips out. Point the tailbone up, releasing tension. We bring the head down. We walk the knees in. We walk them in. We look at our knees. We cross the feet, we sit down, we bring the head up, shoulders up, roll up the shoulders, <laughs> roll up, sit down on your feet as you roll. I'm going to have to take care of my cat just for a moment. Well, that's never happened before. <laughs> uh, yes, that was my yoga kitty, so uh, please forgive me for that. Let's continue. Goodness gracious. So we're, well, since we're here, let's do it this way. So we open up the knees now and we sit on our feet. The feet are uh, folded right underneath us. And we sit down onto the feet and we rise up. We press the hips forward. We tighten the buttocks. We press back. We tighten. We press back. Press back. Now, separate the feet and sit down, pressing the hands down right in front of you, bearing your weight down onto the arms, pressing into the shoulders. We sit between the feet. And we look down. And we look down. We then curl the feet around us, pressing down into the arms. We point the chin into the chest and we draw the abdominal wall in. We press. We lean back. We lift the weight of the body up and we walk the hands forward. Let me face you like this. We press the hands flat onto the ground, like this. And we press the legs away from each other. The knees are out just outside of hip width. We walk the knees further out with the feet right behind the knees. Let me face forward so you can see. We lean forward. Pulling through the hips, we pull back and we progress forward. We progress back. Feel as if your spine is actually leading the motion through the crown of your head. You sit back and you bring your feet up as you lean forward through the hips. You sit back and you bring your feet up and roll on the knees and bring the hips down. You put your weight back on the feet and you come forward. And you exhale down and you inhale up. And you inhale up. We move. We move. Feel your hips. Feel the buttocks. 
We stretch. We stretch. Pressing down into the buttocks, we adjust. Move your knees up and down, adjust. And face forward. My hair. All right. We bring the hips down. We press the hips down. We look up. Hold and breathe. We hold and breathe. Lift the hips slowly, push into the arms, gently, gently push the hips back, push them back, keep the arms extended. We bring down the arms, we keep the hips up, we walk the arms forward, we stretch the shoulders, we tilt the tailbone to the back, we put the chin down, we hold and breathe. We stretch. We stretch. We release the tension very, very gently. We relax the arms. We bring the weight of the hips down. We keep the head down. We drag the arms with us. We bend the elbows and we place the elbows down right underneath the shoulders. Just like that. We sigh. We sigh. We tilt the tailbone to the back. We press the hips out away from us. We press the legs out. We press the arms out. We bring the chest down. We pull the hips open. We pull the hips open, pressing down into the arms. We face forward. We hold and breathe. Press down. Press the hips down. Tilt the tailbone to the back. Press the hips out, opening up. We hold and breathe. We look up, we press into the arms, we tilt the tailbone to the back, we pull the arms and the legs out, opening up the body. We bring the elbows out, we bring the body down, we relax the lower back, we pull the elbows out, we open up, chin down, we press the elbows back, and we press down. We let go of the hips. We rest them. Pressing out, we lift the head up, we pull forward through the crown of the head, we lift the hands up, we put the hands down, we bring the knees in, we put the feet out, we curve the spine up, we press into the arms, we release the tension from the neck, the shoulders, we press up, feet out, lift up, creating another dome through the body. Hang the head, press up, press the legs into each other, press the hips into each other, carve the energy upwards, create a dome with the body, press into the knees, lift up.
pull out. Pressing to your center, drawing the energy in, lifting the energy up through the, the very middle of the back. We pull up through the middle of the back and we hold. Hold and breathe. Feet out, knees in. Feet out, knees in. Feet out, knees in. Pull up. We bring the feet in. We relax the back. We bring the head up, we bring the knees forward, slowly. We sit down on our heels, the elbows bend. We then lift up and down a few times. From the heels, we pick up the weight of the body and we look back. And we pick up the weight of the body and we press it down. We pick it up and we press it down. We curve the spine now with it. Head down, arch the spine up, bring the chest down, look up, and we move. Inhaling, exhaling, pull the abdominal wall in, and we move. We move. Do as many as you can, opening up the spine, strengthening the buttocks and the thighs. We sit down and pull up as many times as you can. We sit back, we bring the feet up and sit on our heels, pressing back. Let's see if you can see me. You press the feet back and you bend the elbows underneath your shoulders, bring the palms in. We sit down. We bring the head down, the belly down. We bring the knees in line with the feet. We sit down. We sigh, sink into the heels, align the elbows underneath your shoulders, sink into the heels, sink down, press back, press back, walk your knees back, pushing in to the forearms, we walk the knees back. And then we tilt the tailbone up, we curve the spine up, we press down into the elbows, the forearms, the fingers are together, the thumbs point in. You look up. You look up. We hold and breathe. Look up. Draw the abdominal wall in. Press the hips down. We look up. We look up. We lift the weight of the body off of the heels. Pressing into the forearms, we adjust the feet we curve the spine, we bring the chin in to 
the neck, pressing down into the forearms, into the elbows. We arch the spine. Ah. Oh. Tighten the buttocks. We hold and breathe. Curve your body. Chin in. Draw it into the navel. We tighten. We hold. Press up. We release by pointing the toes, putting the tops of the feet down, tilting the tailbone to the back. We simultaneously lift the head forward. We pull forward. We lift up onto our arms. The arms are straight. Make sure you can see me. We walk the knees out. We bring the hips forward. We walk the knees out. We then bring the feet in line with the knees. We lean forward just a little. Tighten the buttocks. Pull in. Extend back. Bring the elbows down. Walk the knees out if you can. We press the hips to the back, balancing on our forearms and on our elbows. We rock back and forth. The spine is straight. It's sort of like you're a little piston, <laughs> moving back and forth. Opening up the hips, freeing the tension from the buttocks and the lower back. We reach back. We reach forward and we reach back. Keep the motion right at the hip socket and through the shoulders, pressing into the arms. We sway back and forth. Sitting down a little closer to the ground each time we press back. Each time we press back. We open up. With the breath, inhale forward, exhale back. Bring the feet in, sit back on your feet, extend the arms up, walk the weight of your body up. <laughs> you can see me. We keep the weight of the body forward. We bend the elbows. We look up, bringing the elbows down. We press the hips open. We look up. We look up. And we hold and breathe. We press up. We press up. Lift the elbows up, spread the fingers out, push into the hands and Curve the spine up, press down into the legs. We open up the hips. We hold and breathe. We walk back, slow, pressing into the hands, giving the weight forward through the arms. Press the hips down. Walk back, walk back. Now press the hips down, press the tailbone down onto the feet. Walk back. Press the tailbone down onto the feet. Bring the knees in. Press into the arms. They're between the legs. Place the hands right on the inner knee. Press down into the hips. Push the shoulders down press down. We then release the hips, release them, and we begin to rock at the hips back and forth. 
just like that. Keep the weight of the body forward on the arms, releasing the hips, releasing the spine. We bow down and we press up. <laughs> My hair. And we bow down and we press up. We bow down and we press up. We look up. <laughs> We bring the hands to the outside of the knees. We face forward as we bring the knees in together. We sit down between the heels. You see? I guess you see like that. All right. So we lean onto the uh, arms behind us. If you can do this phase of it, if your knees permit you, then please join us. The legs are folded. The heels are right beside your hips. You bring your chest forward. You begin to open up and pull the hips up and back. We pull back. Tighten the buttocks. Chin down. We pull back. We adjust the knees, we pull back, we pull back, we tighten the buttocks. We can drop the head back, we can reach up through the sternum, we can tighten the buttocks and hold. We reach the head back, we lift the hips up, we tighten the buttocks, and we hold. Continue to breathe deeply through the chest, open up. We release by bringing the shoulders up, letting go of the hips, bringing the heels up, pressing the chest forward. We leave the head behind us, we bring the knees in, we turn the hands to the back, we pull forward, we turn the hands upward behind us, we lead with the chin, placing the hands right over the toes, we pull the toes up and we walk the knees in, walk the legs in, bring the elbows back, we sigh, we pull up, elbows back, walk the legs in, pull back. Pull the feet up, open up the chest, walk the legs in. Press the legs into each other. Press both sides of the hips into the center. And then breathe slow and deep. We pull up, press in, pull up, press in, pull up. We hold and breathe. Your chest is wide open. We're opening up releasing the hips, releasing the lower back. We look out. Lean back, let go of your feet, put your hands behind you, face forward, pull the shoulders up into the ears, press the legs into each other, open up the fingers, press the hips in, curve the spine, chin down, press the legs into each other, lift up the hips slightly off the ground, pull back, feet in, Shoulders up. We pull back. Chin down. Now we walk the knees out. We turn the feet back. We lift the hips up. We press into the arms. We curve the spine back. And we press up. And then we hold and breathe. We sit down, slow. We press the chest forward, slow. We relax the shoulders, we walk the knees in. Pressing the legs into each other, we turn the hands back. 
we're going to curve right over the legs now. Relaxing the arms, we reach forward, we curve the spine over the legs. And we come down and we rest. We open the back, we open the shoulders, we open the hips, and we let go. Stay open. Let the tension just flow off your back. Open up your back. Open up the shoulders. Open up the hips. Crown of the head on the ground. We let go. We let go. And then we bring the heels back up. We pull the shoulders down. We lift the head up, pressing into the knees. We roll the shoulders up as we progress up. We roll up, we inhale up. We exhale, we pull the shoulders down. Then we come off of the feet. Turn forward. We fold the legs. Placing the hands over the knees, we lift the knees up and down. And uh, I think it all went well, except for the, <laughs> the kitty cat. So I hope you enjoyed all of these uh, movements and poses designed to sculpt and shape the buttocks, the thighs, uh, the lower back. So I hope you enjoyed it. And please come again. I would. Uh, implore you, if you could, if you like this series, to help me to bring it out to a larger audience. I'm just now, as I told you, switching over my uh, professional uh, intent to the videos. So I need your support uh, by helping me to share with anyone who uh, would like to partake of these uh, exercises, yoga moves and yoga poses. Uh, that would help me out a great deal. And if you could also donate, if, you, if you're in the position to, these uh, classes I bring to you by donation, um, because it's the most fair thing to do, I think. So thank you for coming, and I hope to see you next time. Namaste.